Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brenda 9mm USA Senior here, and today I'm going to feature my two top of the line Commander 1911s in a custom 1911 offering. This is the CQB Elite from Wilson Combat, and this is the Spardella Arms Full Stroke Commander two wonderful commander pistols there's no question about it this one having the ambidextrous safety right there on the spardella and here's the wilson combat and it also has the bulletproof ambidextrous safety so as far as these pistols are concerned both of them should last your lifetime they are both made of steel and steel there is no aluminum or anything like that to worry about about keeping the round count down this is a steel slide and a steel frame along with this one too being a steel slide and a steel frame and we'll go into a little bit more details on the wilson combat cqb elite first and they say it blows away the competition as you look at this one right here it is absolutely loaded exactly the way i wanted it there's a look down the sights right there you might be able to tell why i went with those sights this is the traditional battle sight rear sight on the wilson combat it has a ledge right there so you can rack it against a boot or a table or something like that if your offhand happens to get injured and you can't use it and you only have one hand to operate your pistol with as i said before everything on this pistol is from their bulletproof line you notice right here that the hood is done here and it says Wilson 45 ACP. The top serrations are done. A nice thick flange bushing right here that has Wilson on it. The front of the barrel is done beautifully. Wow, that's wonderful. No rail, so a lot of you don't like rails. I hear it quite a bit, so no rail on this. The front of the pistol is done almost to the very top. Very nice, uniform perfectly done. That top edge is done that way on purpose. Everything, including the enlarged mag release right here, is a bulletproof product. And it's got a nice texturing there right there. A little break for your thumb on these grips, which are beautiful. Come down here to the one-piece magwell. Very generous magwell right there, guys. And it is a one-piece, so it comes back here to the mainspring housing, which is perfect also. flawless. I had to look very carefully to see if you can find the extractor. Just beautifully done. Good job, Wilson. Okay, let's engage the safety here first. Smaller safety, it doesn't make quite as much noise. And it flicks on and flicks off with a very nice sound to it. Not as much effort as in some guns I have. So will it accidentally come on? Well, if you ride it right there, and it's really easy to ride it right there because of how small the uh, safety is itself. I mean, it's I mean it's almost like right there, so you'll be able to ride it like that. But let's see if we can cause it to happen, like on the Cabot. So you may not know, but we accidentally were engaging the safety multiple times on a uh, review that I recently did on a Cabot Commander. Not the case with the Wilson Combat. No big surprise there. So before I jump on over to the Spardella Arms Full Stroke Commander here, I wanted to cover the major difference between the two guns is this is built the traditional way of a Commander, which doesn't have as long rails as a full-size government 1911, which is what this has. So there is an advantage, an improvement in design as you step to this gun right here. Will Wilson ever do something like that? Probably not, I don't think, because he's been building them this way for a long time. This one will run a little bit smoother. The action will be smoother. It'll be maybe slightly more accurate. Its reliability will be slightly better. You know, those are the ideas behind that change, just so you know. Traditional commander rails, full stroke commander rails, which are like full stroke government size 1911 rails. I'm not going to take apart because Google and YouTube gets really funny about all that kind of stuff and I don't want them striking our videos or taking our videos down or saying our videos have to be changed. It's hard enough hearing from our hundreds of subscribers to say, hey, I haven't been notified of a new video in a month and a half. I haven't been notified in two months. I don't know what to do about that other than to ask you guys to check back every week because we're usually uploading at least one video every week and sometimes Young Beretta uploads two videos a week or a third video. It's really crazy. He thinks he's going to make me make more videos. <laughs> All right. Anyway, as we step to this Bardella Commander full stroke right off the bat, everything on both of these guns 
is fully forged or tool steel. There is no skimping here going on at all. And you're paying the premium dollars to get them. So they absolutely should work and they should work 100% of the time. I am in total agreement. So as we step to the Spardella, just notice you got the absolute high gloss finish on this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. You have the serrations on the top done very well. You've got a gold bead front sight right there. And again, this beautiful ledged 10.8 performance rear sight, which looks a lot like the rear sight on Wilson Combat. Back of the pistol here is also done and done in a fantastic fashion. Just absolutely perfect back here. Take a look at that. Again, you can barely see the extractor. So I just think that's wonderful and just out of this world performance as far as putting them together. Here's the safety, a little bit wider maybe? Let me take a peek. Yeah, so the Ambi safety is a little bit wider on the Spardella Full Stroke Commander. Not as much noise going up, but a lot of noise taking it off. And a little bit more, uh, maybe the same, maybe this. Yeah, a little bit more resistance, not much but a little bit more resistance for sure. Slightly noticeable. As far as the grips are concerned on this one, these are the black lock grips. So these guys right here, these are all black aluminum grips with a palm swell, which kind of fills your hand a little better. Look where the fingers come in right here. The palm swell is right here. It's awesome. Here, the front strap is completely done. Very uniform, very nicely done. Great cut off at the top, great cut off at the bottom. It goes into the one piece magwell, which again is just fantastically done. Wow. Very, very similar. Great stuff, right? And this is great too, nicely finished. The grip safety is a little bit of a different design. It actually is more traditional design than the Wilson Combat. It's got the little cuts right here, but this thing is damn near perfect. Not engaged, and when engaged, it's flawless, which is what it's supposed to be. So nicely done there. Easy to get some prints on it, so just know that going into it. I look forward to shooting both of these quite a bit more coming up. They're just fantastic handguns. My absolute favorite as far as the commander size is concerned. Cost-wise, it's going to come up if I don't bring it up. And I think this is somewhere close to $5,000 now. Exactly outfitted the way it is. Though you can get into it starting at a little bit more than $3,500. And I think that represents a great deal. Will it have the magwell? No. What you know, It won't have gold dot. It won't have the ambi safety. But it depends on if if you need all those things. If you don't need all those things, then there's no reason to probably pay for it unless it's a want item. But as far as the custom 1911 itself, starting at around $3,500 here, starting at around $4,000 here, and this again is probably just tipping over $5,000. So they're in the ballpark. They're comparable. Talked about here, lock grips. This one here, Wilson Combat grip right here. And this grip that they have right here is, is pretty grippy. And this is very nice. Really feels good locking into your fingers. Actually doesn't feel painful at all. So a really great job there. And these guys are the same way. Just a great pistol to grab a hold of. So sometimes where the TRP and some other makers make this stuff just a little bit too much and it needs to be kind of dumbed down a little bit. These two are fantastic in their presentation. 45 ACP, both of these. You can get these in 38 Super. You can get these in nine millimeter. Both of them put money down and pay the rest when the pistols are done. Somewhere around $1,000 down. We'll get your pistol started. So if you've got a tax refund coming up here in 2024, or maybe use part of your tax refund as the down payment and then start saving for the remainder of it. When it's done, then you've got your handgun. There's no reason to change or upgrade. In my opinion, owning and testing out more than 30 or 40 custom 1911s out there. Okay, guys, I don't think I covered the uh, triggers on these things. So let's cover the triggers real quick and the trigger weights, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. The actual weight on the Wilson Combat says it comes in at 38 ounces. A full-size regular 19 1911 in either one of these type of spec guns is going to be right around 41, 42 ounces. The commander size pistols were made specifically for carry. That's the whole idea behind these guys, right? Concealed carry. All right, Spardella. Single action trigger pulls. Two pounds, 12.7 ounces. Two pounds, 5.8 ounces. 
I'm gonna do it one more time, just for government work. All right, grip safety in all the way. Here we go for another pull. Two pounds, 12.2 ounces. Okay, so under three pounds, fair to say. And the Wilson Combat. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Two pounds, 14 ounces. <laughs> Two pounds, 14 ounces. Let's get a good third pull on it and see where we are at. It's like magic, two pounds, 14 ounces. Trigger, Wilson Combat, next to nothing for a take up, not bad. Firms up, doesn't move at all, guys, and it just breaks. Uh, let's show you the reset. <laughs> okay. You move it out just a touch and it uh, resets. There's what it sounds like. Again, take up minimal, minimal take up, just like the Wilson Combat. <laughs> and it just breaks, fellas. Here is the reset. These guys, you would think that these guns were made by the same person. Fantastic. Maybe that's why they're two of my absolute favorites. There's nothing that can be said about that that isn't absolutely flawless. This is what all those other companies should be, and I'm not going to be naming names. You guys watch enough of our videos, you know uh, who we're talking about here. These two guns are absolutely flawless and uh, almost seem to be made by the same person. They're so perfectly done. These are at the top, and these are what you should be striving for if you have a 1911 or want a 1911 custom in your future. The Wilson Combat or the Spardella Arms Commanders. That's the presentation today, guys. So thanks goes out to whoever put these guns together. I know who put this one together. Whoever put this one together uh, at Wilson Combat. Wow, very, very good at your job. All right, guys, that finishes this video. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel, and the CZ 9mm USA channel. We really do appreciate you guys coming over and subscribing. I'd really like the second channel at 10,000 subscribers, just in case something ever happens to the main channel. We can keep on making some uh, content, putting some stuff out there on the backup channel. It doesn't hurt to have a backup channel. That way you're ready for anything. Anyway, see you guys on the next video. Be safe out there, and remember, the Second Amendment is worth protecting.